I grew my Twitter account to over 15,000 followers, hitting over 7.7 .7 million impressions. And Twitter paid me $2,800 just for posting content that I didn't even write myself. The entire system uses cloud projects with what I call the hybrid method, combining smart research with AI powered copywriting that matches my tone perfectly. I'm gonna show you the exact workflow that generates high quality viral tweets, 10 times faster than manual writing and way cheaper than hiring a ghostwriter. And by the way, if you're new here to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button below. I create videos every single week on how to use AI and create automation workflows that save you time and make you a bunch more money. So let's get stuck in. So before we get into the video, I know some of you are sat there pretty skeptical of like, oh, could have just Photoshopped those images. Well, here we are inside of my X account. And as you can see, these are my numbers, my live numbers. And you can see 7.7 .7 million impressions since I started posting. And if you wanna see how much money I've made from X, I'm in the creator program. I got monetized, I think two months ago. And you can see here, I got paid out $2,000 for my first payment, which is basically all the money that I got from the impressions or however it's worked out since I started posting. And you can see every two weeks, I get a few hundred bucks. It's basically free money for me. I just get paid for posting. And I have friends that make way more than this. And yes, they have a bigger audience, but in the next six months, 12 months, my audience will probably be double the size. But in order to get paid from X, you need 5 million impressions. And you also need, I think about 500 verified followers. And this is not the only money I'm making from X. I generate leads for my mentorship and for my agency all from posting content. So in my opinion, building a personal brand on whatever platform you feel like putting the time, effort and energy into is gonna pay dividends a few months down the line if you're consistent. And that's what leads us to the topic of today's video. I'm gonna show you how to create an X post writing machine. This is what I use every single day. I sometimes come in here and chuck in a voice note or if I see something online, maybe it's a YouTube video, maybe it's a Reddit post, and I see some kind of insight like, okay, I could use that in one of my posts. I call this process the hybrid method. And the reason why I call it that is because it involves you going out and having to do some actual work to find tweet examples that have a high number of impressions and views and engagement to then train the Claude project on specific hooks and styles. But once you've done that work up front, you'll then have this AI partner that helps you create the content without you having to manually go through that whole process every single time. So that's what I'm gonna show you here today. I use this, as you could see, almost every day. And what I've got inside here is a few different documents. Now to get the information that's in these documents, these are text files, markdown files, you need to go out and do a bunch of research. So I'm gonna take you through that process right now and show you what you need to be looking out for. So if you come over here to X, you're literally just gonna scroll your feed. And if you're not following anybody in your industry, in your niche, then you're gonna to need to find some of the, the key players. And what I simply do is just scroll the feed and start finding posts that have, let's say over 75,000 impressions, something like that. And once you find something, then you're gonna copy that and put that into a document, right? So this, this looks kind of cool. This is a, a lead magnet post. You've probably seen a bunch of these. I grew my account in the first 30 days purely from lead magnet posts. It can be incredibly powerful. Yes, some people don't like them, but the truth is they usually get high number of impressions and a ton of engagement because you're getting people to comment on the post to get a free resource. I'm gonna show you how you can set it up with a tool called Typefully, but we'll get to that in just a moment. So you're gonna scroll your feed. You can also do some searches in the Explore page and look for people and topics and posts in your niche. Now I'm gonna show you the, the posts that I've pulled. I've got a few different examples here, the high performing tweets. So what I've done is I've put the tweets in here and then I've asked AI to analyze those tweets to give me an idea of kind of a structure. So when I feed this document into the Claude project, it has at least some sort of idea of what's inside that document. So I've written the collection contains tweets that achieve significant engagement over 100,000 views each. Use these examples to identify patterns in hook techniques, content structure, engagement triggers, topic selection, voice and tone, etc. I can actually give you this file if you want. I'm gonna put the link below in the description if you wanna check that out. 
if you're not in the AI space, then this is probably not gonna be super relevant for you, but some of these hooks can work really, really well. And the goal really is to get 15, 20 different examples of high performing tweets in your niche that got over, let's say 50,000, 100,000 views. And that's gonna be the base of the training for your Claude project. What I've got here is some writing principles. Now I found this from a copywriter. This was actually a thread on X and I copied the whole thread because I thought everything in here was super relevant to writing really good tweets and copy. So I'm also gonna put this context file below in the description if you wanna download it. I think I'll put everything into a folder and you can just take a look and take what you want. So it's good to give it some writing principles, not just context of the posts themselves, but actual writing principles that you can draw on when putting these posts together. Now I have had a mentor for X and I basically got a bunch of feedback that he gave me after reviewing my posts in those early days. Now another document I've got in here is the Twitter copy principles context file. You could see this is written in JSON and what I've done is I've analyzed those tweets and I've pulled out the key copy principles from those tweets that I've analyzed. And I'm not gonna go through this whole thing. I'm gonna include this in the folder below in the description as well, but you could see copy principles, content structure, engagement triggers, voice and tone, all of that good stuff, right? And this is the final document that I've got in this Claude project. Is I basically extracted the key principles from lead magnet posts. So just to make it clearer for the project, if I do choose to do a lead magnet post, it knows where to draw from and what are the key principles for making those posts work really well. But honestly, at the end of the day, you never know which tweet is gonna pop. Like I'm gonna show you my profile and this tweet that I put out, I think, a few months ago in May. This got over 2.4 million views. This was actually the first lead magnet post that I ever released. And it went absolutely crazy. I didn't even have an auto DM set up for this because I was basically not posting on X. I was doing random stuff here and there, but nothing was working. I was getting 50, 100 views per post. And this one blew up to over 2.4 million. And that was insane. I had to literally DM, like, as you can see, 1.6, thousand people which is yeah don't recommend that at all that took like literally a full day of copy and pasting now obviously you can copy this exact Claude project for your own Twitter account to create content but if you want to learn how to actually solve real-world problems how to extract ideas from businesses so you can build custom automations and workflows that generate actual cash I work directly with people to turn them into N18 operators to make that happen. So if that's something you're curious about, then there is a link in the description, right? So let's get into an actual example. I'm gonna write a tweet. I'm gonna show you the research process of finding ideas and then take you into the Claude project and see what it comes up with. So you can see my whole process and how I think about this. The reason why I've chosen a Claude project is because we can actually iterate really, really fast. If this was a workflow, you would get the output and then you have to run it again. Now with this process, if I see some hooks that I like, great. But if I don't, then I can actually tell Claude, to, like, I like this one, I like this one, but they're just not quite right. And it's gonna generate me some fresh ones immediately. Now, one of my favorite places to go for research is Reddit. If you subscribe to a bunch of different subreddits, then you're just gonna come across some absolute gold. So, I mean, I could just scroll here on Reddit and see what interests me, right? Or I could go through to let's say NA10 and I can scroll down the subreddit to see if there is anything that grabs my attention that I think would be useful to grab some insights from and then share in a post over on X. Now the best post you're probably gonna find in your feed and yes, I am giving you permission to legitimately scroll the Reddit feed once you've subscribed to a few different subreddits in your niche. So I'm just gonna scroll down here and see what we can find. Okay, so I found something here. This prompt one looks kind of cool. And there's some really nice examples here. And Dr. Chen, oh, I actually wrote a prompt with Dr. Chen in a little while ago. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this Reddit analysis one here. I'm gonna copy that. And then I'm gonna come into the Claude project. And I don't have any like fancy special prompt to do this. I just know what I'm after. So I use something called Whisperflow and I'm gonna voice note into the project here and we're gonna see what it comes up with. So I'm gonna post below a prompt that I found on Reddit. It's actually a Reddit research prompt. 
what I need is 10 different opening hooks that are gonna grab attention, open a curiosity loop, and get people to stop scrolling X, and so they read the post. I'm gonna put the prompt in an image, so the post needs to just grab attention, get people curious, and, and get them to open up the image on their phone or whatever, so that they can spend time reading the prompt and that they can save the photo and use that. The tweet needs to fit into one tweet, character length, Let's see what you've got. So there's a few key things that I mentioned there, telling it to generate me a bunch of different opening hooks and also telling it to stick to one tweet character length. Now you don't have to do that, but for example, if you're gonna write a thread, often it's, in my opinion, better to write a thread where each post is one tweet character length. So they don't have to click the see more button every time they hit a new post. And so let's see what it comes up with. Usually we get some pretty good stuff, but sometimes we have to iterate and see yeah, see if we can find something that we like. Now, the other side of this equation is the fact that I've been writing copy for over 10 years, so I kind of know what I think is gonna work best. And if you don't have that experience, then you might just have to run with something that you think is gonna grab the attention and also that's relevant and relatable to the problem. Now, I'm always thinking, what is the big benefit here? How can I convey a big benefit that is relevant to my audience and potentially a wider pool of people. How can I make it a little bit more general that it pulls a lot more people in? That's gonna get you more impressions and it's gonna grow your account faster. Now, does that mean you're gonna get super high quality followers specifically in your niche? You know, that might not be the case, but it is a balance in the early days when you're trying to grow fast. So we can see here, it's given us a bunch of opening hooks, but it's not actually written the post for us. This post turns ChatGPT into a savage Reddit detective. I actually really like that one. I like the word savage. Okay, cool. Let's get it to write the rest. In fact, I think that's probably good for the post, right? If we go, I'm gonna show you the tool that I use. I don't always use this, but it's, it's great if you're in that zone and you're writing a bunch of different tweets and you wanna schedule some stuff, then you can just use type fully. I'm gonna put a link in the description below. You can sign up and it's at least like 10 bucks a month or something, super cheap. If we come into drafts, I'm just gonna paste that in here. It's important to make sure the spacing is appropriate and that it's easy to read. I think that's decent. And then what I would do is I grab the prompt, right? Maybe I just screenshot this, right? And then I can, I can pop that into the post. I don't see the point in having these brackets. I'm gonna do capital first letter. The only issue I have with this post is that that first line is pretty damn long. So I'm not too keen on that. I'm gonna upload this image. Now you can experiment with dark background and light background. A lot of people use X on dark mode. So you could see this dark background doesn't really pop, but this one does, right? Like this pops. So then I would literally just schedule it. It's super easy. Now, if you wanna set up the auto DM, if you've got a lead magnet post, let's see if I've got any examples here. So this was my last one. It didn't do that well, to be honest, but you could see 26 auto DMs sent and you could see, you could set the, the word that people have to comment to get the resource. So let me show you how that works. So if I wanted to turn this into a lead magnet post, I come to auto DM and then I would see, it says here, there's a little warning. You have to mention that they will receive a DM in your actual post, okay? So what I like to do is follow me required. Yes, replies to the first tweet. They don't need to retweet. And then I'm just gonna, you put a keyword and then this is where your message goes. So you would deliver the, the resource in this message. The issue with Typefully is that it only runs for three days. So if someone comments on your post after three days, they're not gonna get the resource. But you know, usually these posts die off after like two days anyway. So you could do the same thing on YouTube. Like this is a video by Nick, who is a fantastic creator, one of the best in the space, in my opinion, what you could do is you could come down and you could grab, let's say the transcript and you could say, let pull out three key points from this video. And then once you have those key points, ask Claude to turn it into a thread, right? And then you just iterate moving forward from there. I'm not gonna go through that whole example. Hopefully you understand the process, but it all starts with that research and getting the context and the examples into your Claude project to make sure it's gonna give you actually decent copy to use. I use this process for pretty much all of my posts. And, and like I mentioned, my posts have got over 7.7 .7 million impressions over the last few months. Now, a few final words to mention on X growth, which I think are important, is posting at least once a day, ideally more in that early stage, like two, three, four times a day. It's gonna get you more volume. The algorithm is always changing. So what worked for me in the beginning isn't working as well right now, today. And I have a small group of friends and we all have accounts ranging from 10K to 
30K. And we're all sharing the insights that we learn and what we think is going on with the algorithm. And the other key part of the puzzle is finding an influencer or somebody who has a bigger account than you to retweet or comment on your post as soon as it goes live. Because when you get that juice and that interaction from a influential profile, it's gonna immediately boost your tweet, not only to their followers, but X is gonna see that post as more valuable and it's gonna boost it to more people. And so hopefully in that boost, more high profile influential X profiles will come along and comment or retweet. And that is how you get more views. So how you find somebody like that is simply by DMing people, finding platforms where you can actually pay people to repost your stuff and building relationships. It's not easy. I mean, you could pay for a mentor. You know, there's a, di a few different routes you can take. So now you know how to create high quality tweets using this Claude project, using my hybrid method. Now the reality is building this for yourself is just the first step in the process. Now the real mastery comes when you can spot business problems and build solutions like this that solve them. Now that's exactly what I do in my mentorship program. It's not just a course, you have one-on-one -on -one access to me, there are group calls and we help you actually do the work to get the experience so you can move forward without spending hours and hours diving down the YouTube rabbit hole. And my goal is to take you from zero to AI operator in just 90 days. Now, if that's something you're interested in, there is a link in the description to book a call with myself. And if you're new to NA10, then make sure to watch the next video on the screen right now, where I break down the biggest mistakes that people make when starting out and the exact roadmap you should follow. I'll see you there.